Hello everyone, and welcome to Tech Upskill Channel. In this video, we'll show you how to fix the issue with Windows Update Error Code 0XE0000100. Just follow the steps, and you'll have the problem resolved in no time. And now, let's get started. Step 1. Open your settings by right-clicking on the Start menu and selecting Settings. Once the Settings window is open, click on System from the left-hand menu. On the right side, scroll down to locate the Troubleshoot option. Then select Other Troubleshooters. Under the Most Frequent section, you'll find Windows Update with a Run button next to it. If this open, get help, so we will open it in other way. Open Start menu and type CMD and run as administrator. Then write this command msdt slash id windows. Update diagnostic. Which I will leave it in video description after click next to allow the system to automatically detect and fix any issues. Once the process is complete, restart your computer and try updating your PC again to check if the problem is resolved. Step 2. Open the search window from the Start menu, type services.msc, and press Enter. In the Services window, scroll down and locate Windows Update. Right-click on it and select Properties. In the Properties window, make sure the startup type is set to Automatic, and check that the service is running. If it isn't, click Start to begin the service. Once you've done that, click Apply, and then restart your computer to see if the issue is resolved. The third step is to ensure your date and time settings are correct. Right-click on the time in the taskbar and select Adjust Date Slash Time. Make sure the Set Time Automatically option is turned on. Additionally, verify that the time zone is correctly set to your country or region. This can help resolve any issues related to system updates. Step 4. Open the Start menu and type Notepad. Once Notepad opens, go to the video description and open the provided link. Select all the text, copy it, and then paste it into Notepad. Next, save the file by selecting Save As. In the Save As Type dropdown, choose All Files and add .bat at the end of the file name. Navigate to where you saved the file, right-click on it, and select Run as Administrator. The script will run automatically, which may take some time to complete.
Once done, it will restart your PC, so save all your work. And hopefully, this will resolve the problem. I hope you found the video helpful. Don't forget to hit the subscribe, like, and share buttons. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.